In this short video, we'll show you how to get the best results with gouging consumables when gouging by hand. There are different PowerMax models, so refer to your operator manual to determine if your specific system has gouging capability. Gouging applications in this video will be shown using the 15 or 75 degree hand torch. To begin, make sure the system is turned off. Also make sure the torch, work cable, and input gas supply are properly connected with the ground clamp attached to the workpiece or table ground. Remember to always wear the appropriate personal protective equipment when operating a PowerMax system. Next, install the appropriate gouging consumables onto the torch. There are several part numbers to choose from, depending on the amperage and type of gouge you want to produce. Max control consumables are designed for light material washing and for when a shallow gouge is desired. Max removal consumables are designed for aggressive metal removal applications. If you're new to gouging, you may want to start with max control consumables to prevent any workpiece damage. With the desired gouging consumables installed, you're ready to gouge. To initiate a gouge, Hold the torch at a 40 degree angle with the torch 6 to 12 millimeters, a quarter to a half inch from the workpiece. When you press the trigger, a pilot arc will start. Transfer the arc to the workpiece by moving the pilot arc closer to the metal. Once the arc has transferred, pull the torch back from the material and stretch the arc to about 32 millimeters or one and a quarter inches. Push the plasma arc in the direction of the gouge you want to create. Keep a small distance between the torch and the molten metal to avoid damage. The gouge profile is the shape left after removing metal from a workpiece. There are various ways to change the gouge profile to fit your needs. One, you can vary the gouge profile by changing the speed. Here you can see the difference. Faster speeds will decrease the depth and width of the gouge, while slower speeds generate deeper and wider profiles. Two, you can change the angle of the torch to the workpiece. Again, you can see the variation in width and depth. Three, you can vary the torch to work standoff distance, also producing a different gouging profile. And four, you can also adjust the output current of the power supply. Any of these techniques can be used to make either small adjustments or significant changes to the gouging outcome. For more detailed information on achieving specific gouging profiles, refer to your system's operator manual. 